Hello and welcome back to Sherwood Park Toyota. So we're looking at a Toyota Tundra Limited Nightshade Hybrid in the color white. Let's take a look. Starting up front, underneath the hood, you have the iForce Max Twin Turbo 3.5 liter V6 engine. This is, of course, where you find the gas component of the hybrid energy system. It gets up to 437 horsepower, 583 pound-foot of torque, towing capacity up to 11,171 pounds, payload up to 1,609. Up front, you've got LED headlights, customer daytime running lights, fog lights down below. Across the front bumper, you've got these little round nodules. These guys are your front parking sensors. On to the side here, we have the 20-inch black alloy wheels. On either side of your hood, you'll find the iForce Max badging. And on both front doors, you'll also find the Tundra badging. Your side mirrors include integrated turn signals and blind spot monitoring. And on both your front handles, you'll find this little dimple. We'll talk about that guy more on the driver's side. Moving back, all your rear windows come with factory tinting. On both your rear doors, you have that limited trim level badge. In the back, currently we have the bed lamps turned on. These can be turned off or work automatically with opening and closing of doors. Rear windshield is also power adjustable. We'll look at the controls for both of these when we get up front in the driver's seat. Now, approaching the back of the bed, across the back, you have backup parking sensors, just like you do in the front. On the left-hand side, you have that 4x4 badge. Underneath, you have the hitch receiver and spare mounted on the bottom. Tundra logo the whole way across the rear of the bed there. And then on your rear handle is the backup camera. you got a couple different ways to open up your bed space. One of them, of course, is to press the button inside of this handle, or you can go over to your rear driver's side taillight and press the button on the side there. This guy will pop open. You don't have to worry about adjusting it all the way down. Across the back, again, you got that little Tundra logo there. You can take a look along the inside of the bed space. As we said, you do have the interior lighting here. You've got tie-down hooks, bed rails, and on the right-hand side, you've got an additional power outlet. To close it up back here, just reach down and bring your tailgate up into its starting position. Next, let's go take a look at the inside. So inside your interior upholstery is the black soft tex leatherette with black stitching. From the side, it appears solid, but if you look at it head on, you'll find this geometric print that emerges. This is only available with this trim level. In the middle, you have access to a folding down armrest slash cup holder, which can easily fold away to increase seating capacity. Next to your middle rear headrest and the uh, passenger side rear headrest, you've got this little fabric strap. Reach up and release this guy, and then you can access the storage space in behind the seats, including your toolkit behind the passenger side for your spare. Now, looking up overhead, there is a panoramic moonroof inside for everyone to enjoy. On the back of your front passenger and front driver seats, you've got pouch storage. Back of the console, you have your cup holder, cubby space, and chargers down below. And all new units come with both carpeted and rubber mat sets. Inside your door, you have plenty of storage space, as well as your power window control. Now back again to this little dimple. This guy indicates keyless entry, so if you have the key fob on your person, you can tap your hand here or in here to lock and unlock your unit. Inside the driver's door, you've got power windows for front and back, window lock, power lock system, side mirror controls. On the left here, this allows your side mirrors to fold in flat with the body of your unit. You can keep it set to A, which is automatic, so that they'll fold and unfold when you lock and unlock with the key fob. Alternatively, you can manipulate these controls at any point in time to move at your will. Underneath that is your memory seat settings, which of course means you have electronic seat adjustment, back front, up, down, and lumbar support. You've got your hood release latch on the bottom left-hand corner of your dash. Top of that, we got a few controls. Up top is the controls for the rear bed lamps. Then you have your automatic headlights. You have your gas release, dash brightness, odometer trip, rear parking sensors, AC 120 volts, heated leather steering wheel control, and headlamp leveling. Hop up here and we'll take a closer look at the steering wheel itself. So this steering wheel is black leather with black stitching. Left-hand side here, controls are for your dash display hands-free communication, volume control, right-hand side, radio controls in the bottom, adaptive cruise control up top, which includes both sonar and lane departure. On top of your dash, you have this little storage space, 12 volt adapter on the left-hand side of it, and then underneath is your infotainment display screen. Nice big screen inside here, make sure that you can see everything all at once, and you don't have to be squinting to see all the little controls. Then you have audio listening, AM, FM, satellite radio, 
Full Bluetooth connectivity includes Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, and you've got optional USB adapters throughout, such as the one on the bottom right hand corner. Then, phone connectivity, trip information, and lastly, all of your settings. Everything from personal profile, Bluetooth, audio, Wi-Fi display, sound media, voice search, dealer info apps, etc. To the left, you've got your volume control. Middle section here is all climate control. So we've got dual climate control up front. Currently it is on sync, which means that both sides work together in unison, but you can turn off that sync mode if you want them to function independently. There's also three variant levels for both heated and cooled seats on each side, so driver and front passenger right in the middle, defrost for front and rear windshield, as well as your side mirrors. Left of this, push start ignition, trailer brake control, back in the middle is your traction control and four ways. Then of course you have your parking brake, then you've got gear shift, two wheel four high and four low, driving and towing mode, and storage spaces all throughout the middle. Up front, you'll find this little black pad here with this glowing green dot. This is a wireless charging pad. It is compatible with all wireless charging devices. Nice thing is you've got little bumpers on the sides and bottoms of it, which ensures that when your phone is in that space, it's not gonna go flying out of there when you're actually on the road. This uh, little pad also means you never have to worry about having charging cords on you again. And there's still plenty of additional storage space all around there, so you're not taking up any valuable real estate there. Then you've got your cup holders and then the console. So two layers of trays, the bottom one can be slid open to get quick and easy access inside. You can open up this from either side, press the button in to lift up. You've got interior lighting stemming from the back, has this kind of blue glow, you may have noticed the same up front there. Inside we've got tons of different storage options and additional charger spaces. On the right hand side down below, you've got a lockable glove box. Up overhead on your rear view mirror, one, two, and three dots, these guys are garage door openers. Then you've got your sunglasses compartment, SOS button, overhead lighting controls, controls there, of course, for the panoramic moonroof, and on the left-hand corner is your adjustment for the power adjustable rear windshield. You can take a look at it in action. Press the button in to have it roll down, pull the button up to have it roll up. You can stop at any point along the way to suit your personal preference. Great little built-in feature to have extra airflow inside your front cab space. Thanks again, folks, for joining us on this full video tour for this Toyota Tundra limited nightshade hybrid in the color white it is located here at sherwood park toyota at 31 automa road in sherwood park alberta you can also reach us at 780-306-7703 and remember life is full of choices let us be yours